Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and I had actually intended to make this a Leighton Lakes video today, but I got to looking through the multiplayer sessions, and there was actually a lot of Rancho Del Arroyo ones up, so I figured now would be a great time to try and get a rare or diamond pheasant, especially after that one escaped us on live stream the other day. That was uh, quite crushing to see that thing escape after 55 minutes of chasing it, but it happens and we'll just get out there and hopefully find another but this server that I just joined actually has no knee zones at my favorite hotspot so I've got a good feeling that there might be some good stuff up there I really hope so it's at the perfect time for this area so there could be some really good stuff and hopefully we're able to find a couple things that are nice and here we have a little pheasant to start things out let's uh, wait for the rooster to actually flush because I want to make sure we get him out of all of them and I think we got him. Yeah, we definitely did. Took more shots than I was hoping it would, but we did manage to take him down. And that's going to be our first kill of the day. Actually, looks like we might have hit him twice, which is uh, probably what we would have expected anyway, since two of them looked like they would have hit. And we got more roosters, so I guess we'll head down there and see if we can find another. So before we get too far in the video, I guess I should probably talk about what our loadout is today and we're using a couple guns that I haven't used very much as of recent and that is the 10 gauge shotgun along with the 30 out 6 and then I've also got the 223 or the uh, 243 and the 22 with us as well. But it's been a bit since I've used the 30 out 6 because a lot of times I just pick other guns over it and the same with the 10 gauge. It's a good shotgun but I typically just pick other shotguns over it. But today I decided to bring both of them out and hopefully we can end up finding some good trophies and taking them out with them. Oh my gosh, look at what we've got there. That is a level 5 bighorn sheep. That is an awesome sight and that's actually a pretty big pheasant next to it as well. Man, we got to take that thing out. We got to figure out where it's going first though. This is uh, not going to be easy to get into a good spot to take it out, but hopefully it's not going to be too much of an issue. It actually looks like they might be feeding there, so we actually might have got lucky. I'm going to try and get up on the hillside and take a shot from up here. I feel like that's going to be our best bet, but that's a pretty nice surprise. We've barely even hunted at all and we found ourselves a level 5 bighorn. This is the type of thing I was hoping for when I saw that there was no need zones down here. I doubt anybody has ever hunted this spot on this server. And just like that we've got an absolutely perfect angle. Now we just gotta remember where this guy is. Uh, he could have gone anywhere to be honest. There's a lot of different spots that the bighorn feed around here. I see a couple bighorn down here where he was but I don't actually see him so we're gonna have to re-find him but he should not be too far away and in fact he's probably behind one of these trees I would guess. Okay so I can't find this guy for the life of me. I don't know where he could have possibly gone. I've checked every single bighorn in the area. These these are the guys that he was with and he's nowhere to be seen. So my guess is he kept moving and he's probably like tucked away in the brush somewhere. Uh, maybe behind one of these trees. I don't even know at this point. I've just been kind of shooting in random spots hoping that I can get him to move out but it really is not looking like he's here so we're probably gonna have to track him down which could be a pain through this area oh never mind he's actually right there so he's actually not in the area that I thought he was he's a little bit further to the right so I guess he was kind of in the area that I thought he was but uh, not quite the exact same area so that is a little unfortunate. We just spent probably like five minutes looking and <laughs> didn't even realize that he was right in front of us basically. So uh, let's do our best to try and get lined up on him and get a shot. That is a beautiful bighorn sheep. Let's uh, move a little bit closer and then I think we should be able to try to line up on him. Let's go ahead and get him to move so we can hopefully get a broadside shot because I don't want to risk the frontal shot. Though I probably could make it, I don't want to risk it. And actually, that right there is going to be perfect and we got a perfect hard shot. And there is our bighorn sheep. Since we've been having a lot of issues with crashing in multiplayer recently, I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking at him. We're just going to go ahead and pick him up. That does appear to be small horns though, so this has a chance at trolling I believe. And it is a diamond, 166.90, but that was very close to uh, being a troll. 
but he did end up making it so that is awesome our first diamond of the day and this is actually the first small horns diamond big horn i've had in probably over six months i think the last two or three we've got have all been big horns so that's actually kind of cool it uh, is going to add a little bit of variety to our lodge because this is my favorite fur type and we don't have a small horns version with this fur type so that's pretty cool this might actually make it into the main lodge if i can find something to replace you know, since this is kind of on our way, let's go ahead and take out this turkey right here if we can hit it. Because that one is a 9 to 11, which means it has a chance of being a diamond. It probably won't, but it does have that chance. And then we completely missed that turkey there. But that was just a 7 to 9 anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. I wish these were close enough to take them out with the shotgun. And in fact, this one might be once it shows itself again. Nah, it's a bit far away, so... We did get the first one with the 22, but sadly the others didn't get quite close enough to take with the shotgun, but hopefully we can find something down here that we can use the shotgun on, and that is a bunch more turkeys, so provided it flies our direction, we can at least try to take these out. Ooh, there is another 9 to 11, I actually saw another one further down the road as well, but this is the one that's right here, and sadly not able to hit him. Uh, this is not going quite how I was hoping for it to. But there is the first turkey that we took out, 4.40, not too bad. Now, let's see if we can get a second one down because there is a turkey way out there that is 9 to 11. So if we can just make a shot on this, that would be absolutely amazing. Just going to guess where we need to aim and it looks like we guessed correctly. So that is another turkey down. This right here could be our opportunity to take one out with the shotgun. And it looks like we managed to do it. It may have only been a hen, but at least we finally took out a turkey with the 10 gauge. So that is awesome. Let's run up and grab it real quickly. It's not going to be anything special, but I do want to see if we hit it once or twice. And 40 hits. Oh my gosh. I think we hit literally every pellet. I don't think there was a single pellet that missed. And here is our second 9 to 11 turkey of the day. Hopefully this will be a level 2 diamond, and it's another 4.40 unfortunately, but if we keep doing this, eventually we're going to get a level 2 diamond. We've already had a few since uh, Rancho release, so not completely out of the ordinary to have one make it, so I wouldn't be surprised if we do get one after a while. It may not be huge, but while it's out here, let's go ahead and try to do a broadside shot on a bighorn sheep with the 30-06 because the last one we took out with a heart shot which means we didn't really get the uh, full idea of what it can do when they're broadside so let's just do that and it dropped it on the spot so the 30-06 is very powerful I think most of you know that by now but I really don't use it too often just because if I'm using a 30-06 caliber weapon I typically go with the M1 just because it's got a faster fire rate but in most cases I go with the 303 because that's just my favorite rifle besides the 6.5 but when it comes to powerful rifles that's my favorite so I end up using it a lot more than I do the 30-06 and as I kind of expected, actually, for a second I thought that was double lung. We actually got lung liver, so that's actually not what I was expecting. Uh, but it dropped it anyway. It basically acts as if it was a double lung, so pretty much same results as you would get with double lung shots. But that is a nice level 3 bighorn down. Not quite a gold, but still not too bad. There we go. There's another turkey. Get that down with the 10 gauge if we can. And that's actually a pheasant. Let's see if we can maybe... Ah, it's actually going to land fully. You know, we might try to run up to it and take it out. Ah, actually, it just flew away again, so, so much for that. But here's that little turkey that was flying by and got smoked with the 10 gauge. Only 9 hits and it still took it down really fast. Uh, it's one of the major upsides to the 10 gauge. It can take pretty much anything out in one hit, even if you don't hit very many pellets. It's just a very powerful shotgun. Okay, I think that's a melanistic doe. I can't tell, but I... Th yeah, it's definitely melanistic. Uh, that's pretty cool. Not exactly in the best spot. In fact, we spooked it off, but that is a melanistic whitetail doe. Uh, I guess we'll have to try and wait for that to come back. That's pretty cool. I definitely wish it was a buck, but that's still a pretty cool thing to see. Okay, so the host just changed the time. Let's hope that that still allows us to get this whitetail deer. I saw the buck right there, but I can't figure out where the doe went. She's got to be somewhere in the same area. And there's the rest of the whitetail, so I wouldn't be surprised if she's behind them. Uh, it's unfortunate that they changed the time. I don't exactly 
know how this is going to affect it, but we should be able to find our dough, I hope. Well, I can't believe this has happened, but we have completely lost the tracks of the Melanistic. They all disappeared. Um, I hope that it didn't get shot by somebody else. I doubt it did because nobody's near us, but it's just so strange. All the tracks disappeared. So that means that we're going to have to just follow the herd, I think, and hope that the Melanistic ends up being with them. Uh, this is going to be a very long trek, but hopefully it will result with a Melanistic Whitetail Doe. Well, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do. This doe is completely gone. I have not found a single track from her ever since the time was changed, so I think she's probably gone. I've just been finding tracks from the common one that was with her along with the buck that was with them, but unfortunately, I can't find this melanistic track anywhere or can't even get a call from them, so I think we're just gonna have to move on. Uh, if we can... If the server stays up long enough to where it'll be back into... Whitetail time will probably rejoin, but we're just gonna jump to a different server until then All right, so I joined back into the server and I actually did find a feeding zone for whitetail deer I don't see the melanistic, but I'm pretty sure this is the herd that it was with There's two does right there, and then there's one buck behind them. That's kind of tucked behind the brush at the moment. Oh My gosh, how am I able to hear that? That's actually kind of crazy. That is insane that I'm able to hear those gunshots, but uh, as I was saying, I think we found the herd, or at least one of the herds from the area, so I'd imagine that Mela couldn't be too far away. Oh! There it is! Um... Well, that's one way to get a Mela. It just happened to bug out in front of us, and I think we just messed up both of those shots, too. I mean, not that it's gonna matter, it's just a doe. But why'd she have to get stuck in the tree? I mean, it's nice that we did finally find her, and we somehow managed- Wait, what? That's not- Huh. That's not even where we hit, but it's saying we hit back here. Uh, not sure what's going on with the kill screen, but... Yeah, it's the unfortunate thing about trying to shoot a stuck deer. It's really hard to actually hit accurately, but... We're not going to tax this regardless, we just wanted to get it down because it is a melanistic and it's not every day you see those, so definitely want to take them out whenever we can. And honestly, that's a pretty cool pose that it died in. It took me a good, like, 40 minutes just to find this thing, so I, I'm just happy to have it down finally. It sucks we made terrible shots, but I mean, it is what it is. I wasn't exactly trying to make perfect shots there, but yeah, I'm just... Glad to finally oh oh gosh, what is what is that? Well, as I was saying, I'm just happy to get it down, but now that I've seen this face, I'm uh, second guessing what I just said. Unfortunately, I don't really see a spot that I would want to put this big horn sheep because I've got a lot of trophies in here that I really don't want to remove. And I mean, we've already got the big horns one right here, so we might as well just keep this as our only uh common big horn in the lodge. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and just call it there. Unfortunately, didn't have enough room in the main lodge to put this big horn sheep, but I mean, it is what it is. If you guys are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss a video. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below with what you guys would like to see me do next, and I will try my best to get to all the comments and read through them at least at the very minimum, and also try to respond to as many of them as I can. But with that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!